Good morning, and welcome to St. John the Baptist Cathedral Basilica Parish. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. Please silence your phones. Our presider this morning is Father Cecil Critch, and our gathering hymn is number 472 in the Catholic Book of Worship, Immortal, Invisible, God Only Wise, number 472. and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today, brothers and sisters, we celebrate the memorial of St. Colinius, Pope and Martyr, and St. Cyprian, Bishop and Martyr. We ask them to intercede on our behalf as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord to pardon us. You ascend to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May God forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. God, who gave St. Colinius and Cyprian to your people as diligent shepherds and valiant martyrs, grant that through their intercession we may be strengthened in faith and clemency and constancy and spend ourselves without reserve for the unity of the Church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Paul to Timothy. The saying is sure and worthy of full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the foremost. 
But for that very reason, I received mercy, so that in me as the foremost, Jesus Christ might display the utmost patience, making me as an example to those who would come to believe in him for eternal life. To the king of the ages, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks. The refrain for Psalm 113 is, Praise the Lord who lifts up the needy. Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, No good tree bears bad fruit, nor again does a bad tree bear good fruit, for each tree is known by its own fruit. Figs are not gathered from thorns, 
nor are grapes picked from a bramble bush. Out of the good treasure of the heart, the good person produces good, and out of evil treasure, the evil person produces evil. For it is out of the abundance of the heart that the mouth speaks. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I tell you? I will show you what someone is like who comes to me, hears my word and acts on them. That one is like a man building a house who dug deeply and laid the foundation on rock. When a flood arose, the river burst against the house, but could not shake it because it had been well built. But the one who hears and does not act is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation. When the river burst against it, immediately it fell and great was the ruin of that house. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the first reading today, St. Paul speaks of himself as the greatest of sinners. He is thinking back on his time when he persecuted the church, yet he doesn't dwell on the past. What he dwells on is the mercy that was shown to him and what he refers to as Christ's utmost patience. It was Paul's deep, deep conviction of the Lord's mercy and patience, revealed above all in his death and resurrection, that was the firm foundation of Paul's life and mission. This was the core of the gospel he preached and lived by. This was the good news he wished to share with Jews and Gentiles alike. We all need a firm foundation on which to build our lives that gives strength and direction to our lives. In the gospel, the two, parable, two houses in the parable that Jesus speaks about looked the same, but their foundations were different. One was built on sand, probably, and the other on rock. Just as the houses in the parable had to be able to deal with rivers and floods, we know from our own experience that we often have to deal with very challenging situations. We can be hit with all kinds of difficulties, whether relating to our health, our relationships, or work, many different challenges. Our ability to deal with those difficulties and challenges will depend on what our lives are built upon. In the Gospel reading, Jesus presents himself as the only foundation worth, worth building upon. While Jesus teaches us about building our spiritual house on rock and a solid foundation, our world often builds on poor foundations, like greed and selfishness and power and materialism and secularism. Listening to his words and acting on them, following in his way, ensures that our lives are built on rock, a solid foundation that will be able, we will be able to withstand the storms of life when they come along. If we build our houses on the Lord Jesus, the Lord will enable us to hold together when the great tests come along, whatever form they might take, because the Lord wants to be the foundation, the center of our lives. Our prayers of intercession. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and our Archbishop Peter, and Archbishop Gabriel here today. We pray for them and all those who shepherd our church in challenging times, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the church universal, preparing for the Synod of Bishops in Rome in October, that the Holy Spirit may lead and guide our church always, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for peace in our world, in areas of the world like Sudan and Niger and Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our development and peace, Caritas, meeting this weekend here at the Basilica, for the success of their assembly, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick recommended to our prayers, the healing power of the Holy Spirit may be upon them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, we pray for our recently deceased, John Fitzgerald, Jerry Fallon, but whose funerals are today, Louise Doyle, whose funeral is Monday, our prisoner. Pray also for the recommend our intercessions for today for Catherine Linehan and family, Neil Flynn, Bernard, Fewer and Joseph Raymond. For all those who have died in the peace of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
And we offer you all these petitions through Christ our Lord. Receive, we pray, O Lord, at the offerings of your people in honor of the passion of your holy martyrs, says Cornelius and Cyprian, and may the gifts that gave them courage on the persecution make us too steadfast in all trials, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give a thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your holy martyrs poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear your weakness through Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O oh Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrated the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, we Peter our Bishop, also Bishop Gabriel and all the clergy and your people, Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. <coughs> have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Martyrs, with St. John the Baptist, St. Cornelius and St. Cyprian and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your, and with your spirit. And let us share some signs of peace. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For the reception of Holy Communion, we ask that people from the side sections come to receive Holy Communion first. We encourage you to sanitize your hands before receiving Holy Communion. If you are unable to receive Holy Communion, you are welcome to come forward for a blessing. Our communion hymn is number 6.4 in Celebrate in Song. Let us be bread, number 6.4. Let us pray. Through these mysteries which you have received, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that by the example of your martyrs, Saints Cornelius and Cyprian, we may be strengthened with the fortitude of your Spirit to bear witness to the truth of the Gospel. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, 
and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace. Our mass is ended. Our missioning hymn is number 6.30 in Celebrate in Song, Table of the World, number 6.30. From the table of Christ Jesus to the table of the world, now to live a gospel vision of a land where goodness reigns, not to seek the beggars, thank you, not for wealth leaving reward, but to do the work of justice, laying down the angry sword. From the table of Christ Jesus to the table of the world, we are nourished by this banquet. May we nourish all we need. Sing a